A mere 24 hours after I posted my video on R29ers taking over the trail bike category, Niner has sent a shockwave across the bike industry and just announced that brand new RIP9, which they're offering not just in a 29 version, but a 27.5. This is Niner's first ever pure 27.5. They've had 27.5 plus, but they've never had pure 27.5. The new RIP9, fully redesigned, right after the email came out and by the way if you're not on niners email list i'd recommend getting on it there's a lot of cool stuff they put in their emails uh, and so right after their email came out announcing the new rip 9 rdo uh, bike magazine released the video i'll link that video below uh, it's a really good video uh, bike magazine raved about the new rip 9 rdo now i knew that niner was coming out with a new bike they told me that i didn't know what it was i didn't know it was going to be 27.5 at all so this, it's all news to me. Uh, they did say that I would probably be able to get a demo, uh, as in sending me a bike and letting me test it for a while. So that would be really awesome. Uh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. Uh, click the bell so you're notified because when I get that bike, if I get that bike, um, of course I'll be doing a bunch of reviews on it. Uh, so back to the RIP9, fully redesigned. The thing that looks so cool about the RIP9 is I think it's gonna combine everything I like about the Trance 29 and the Stump Jumper 29 that I'm currently testing. My two favorite suspension designs are Giant Maestro and Niner's CVA. Uh, they're fluid, they're plush, they're firm when you pedal. Uh, the, the Giant Trance, to me, even though it has less travel in the back, feels like the suspension is more plush and more fluid on the smaller choppy stuff. Now the stump jumper, the, it's got more travel. So when I hit the big stuff, I, I like that. Um, but the things I like about the Trans 29, I like the suspension design, Maestro similar to Niner CVA. I like the Fox DPX2 shock. I like that it's pure Fox components. The things I like about the stump jumper are it's got 150 in the front, 140 in the back for the travel. That's what the new RIP9 has. Uh, I like the flip chip. So I like being able to steepen the head angle on my local trail. So I prefer the flip chip in the steeper setting on the stump jumper for my local trails. I also, I like the 51 millimeter fork offset. I'm not gonna to talk too much about the, the, the fork offset yet because I need to put the flip chip back in the slack setting so I can do a pure comparison, make the head angles of the stump jumper and the trance the same and then decide if I like the 51 or the 44 millimeter fork offset. The stump jumper to me in the higher setting feels like it's a more playful bike. Uh, I can just throw it around corners a little easier. Even though it has more travel, uh, it just feels a little bit more snappy and playful than the trance. Is it the fork offset? Is it the head angle? Is it both? We're gonna find out. So back to the RIP9, uh, newly redesigned. So it has a flip chip. Uh, it has, you know, like I said, pure fox. A longer travel uh, so that, <laughs> that looks like a super sweet bike I don't know if y'all get as excited about new bikes as I do uh, but I love to see the progression in the bike industry uh, so that's it for today I just want to do a really quick video um, letting you all know that Niner has released their first 27.5 the new RIP 9 RDO uh, I'll put the link to the to their website so you can jump right to it if you want to check it out thanks for watching